At NVIDIA's 2025 keynote, when Jensen Huang unveiled the Isaac GR00TN1, a robot brain trained on thousands of simulated worlds, industry leaders did not just see innovation, they saw a warning, the warning shot that signals the beginning of the end for human labor as we know it. Robots can now learn tasks in hours, powered by an open source engine that anyone, anywhere can deploy. If a billion workers are at risk, why are governments not sounding the alarm? The answer begins with what NVIDIA did not say on stage. The Isaac GR00TN1 Foundation model is not just another upgrade, it is a leap into open, customizable robotics intelligence. Built to generalize across dozens of real-world tasks, GR00TN1 can grasp, move, and manipulate objects with both arms, follow complex instructions, and adapt on the fly. Developers no longer need to handcraft every behavior. Instead, they can post-train the model on their own data, adjusting skills for any robot or environment. This is possible because GR00TN1 draws from a vast training set. Real robot demonstrations, human videos from across the internet, and hundreds of thousands of synthetic motion sequences generated in hours, not months. But the real engine behind this revolution is Newton. Developed with Google DeepMind and Disney Research, Newton is an open source physics simulator built for robots to learn virtually. It delivers real-time, high-precision simulation, letting developers train robots in digital twins before a single part is manufactured. Newton integrates seamlessly with existing frameworks, including Mujoko and NVIDIA Isaac Lab, turning the entire process of robot learning into something repeatable and scalable. Jensen Huang's keynote didn't just introduce a smarter robot brain, it revealed a technical ecosystem where anyone with the right data and compute power can spin up a robot workforce, trained in simulation, ready for the warehouse or the living room. The barriers to entry are coming down fast. NVIDIA's ambitions reach far beyond the next robot or the latest AI model. Jensen Huang made it clear the company is not content with powering cloud servers or enterprise data centers. There is a third pillar now, AI infrastructure for robots. This is not a side project. It is a foundational bet that robotics will stand alongside cloud and enterprise as a core layer of the digital world. Huang's words were unambiguous. There are three AI infrastructures we are building. AI infrastructure for cloud, AI infrastructure for enterprise, and AI infrastructure for robots. The message is unmistakable. NVIDIA is not just selling chips or software, it is building the roads and power lines for an automated society, a backbone that every robotics developer, manufacturer, and even competitor will depend on. The Isaac platform, Newton Simulator, and GR00T Foundation model are not point solutions. They are the scaffolding upon which the next industrial revolution will be constructed. This is a play for dominance at the infrastructure level. Whoever controls the platform that robots run on controls the pace, direction, and economics of automation itself. With each new partnership and open source release, NVIDIA tightens its hold, quietly consolidating the market under a single, vertically integrated standard. The age of bespoke robotics is fading, replaced by a world where the infrastructure is invisible, but the power behind it is anything but. Jetson. Thor isn't just another processor, it's the engine driving the new era of humanoid robotics. Built on NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture, Jetson Thor delivers 800 teraflops of AI performance, enough raw compute to run foundation models like gr t in real time. This is not theoretical. Robots powered by Thor can process vision, language, and action simultaneously, coordinating complex movements with split-second precision. The hardware's 100 gigabit Ethernet bandwidth allows swarms of robots to share information and update skills together, enabling collective learning across entire fleets. But raw power means nothing without data. That is where NVIDIA's synthetic data pipeline changes the game. Using the GR0T Dreams blueprint, the system generated 780,000 synthetic motion sequences, equal to over 6,500 hours of human demonstration in just 11 hours. This flood of artificial experience, 
layered with real-world robot and human video data, produced a 40% gain in skill performance compared to training on real data alone. Robots can now learn tasks in hours that once took months of manual programming or laborious trial and error. The result is a feedback loop where more compute feeds more data, and more data produces smarter, faster robots. In NVIDIA's Isaac Lab, thousands of simulations run in parallel, stress-testing robot policies before a single part is built. Developers can iterate at breakneck speed, refining skills and deploying updates over the air. This is not just about building a better robot, it is about accelerating the pace of learning itself. The technical backbone is in place. What happens next depends on who plugs in. Developers aren't just experimenting, they are committing. By mid-2025, 10 of the world's leading robotics companies, including Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Figure, Xpeng Robotics, and Neuro Robotics, had adopted the Isaac platform. The list reads like a who's who of next-generation automation. Each company is building on NVIDIA's stack, not just for industrial machines, but for humanoids meant to work in homes, offices, and public spaces. The message from the startup world is blunt. Bernd Bornish, CEO of 1X Technologies, describes NVIDIA's GR00TN1 as a shortcut to market. He says, with minimal post-training data, we fully deployed on NEO Gamma, advancing our mission of creating robots that are not just tools, but companions capable of assisting humans in meaningful, immeasurable ways. The first wave of domestic demos is already public. 1X's robot, running a post-trained GR00T policy, autonomously tidies rooms and organizes objects. No teleoperation, no hand-coded scripts. For developers, the decision is pragmatic. Why spend years building custom models when NVIDIA's infrastructure offers instant access to simulation, foundation models, and hardware that just works? Analyst Gene Munster calls it what it is, the de facto standard for robotics. The result is a market consolidating around a single ecosystem, with every new adopter reinforcing NVIDIA's grip. The pace is relentless. Each successful deployment, each public demo, pulls more companies into the orbit. The lock-in effect is real. The more the industry depends on NVIDIA's tools, the harder it becomes to break free. The road to mass rollout is paved, and the toll booth is owned by a single company. Factory floors in China are not waiting for the future. They are ordering it by the truckload. Ubitech, one of the world's largest robotics manufacturers, has already moved from pilot runs to mass production. By December 2025, 500 Walker S2 humanoids will be on the job. Contracts total over 800 million yuan. These are not science fair demos. Walker S2 robots are being deployed in automotive plants, logistics centers, and data facilities for clients like BYD, Foxconn, and SF Express. Orders are growing so fast that UB Tech Project's annual output to hit 5,000 units in 2026 and to double again by 2027. Each robot can swap its own battery and work around the clock, no breaks, no sick days. For workers on the line, the timeline is not theoretical anymore. The new colleague is not a rumor. It is a delivery scheduled for the next quarter. The window for adaptation is shrinking to years, not decades. This is how fast the ground is shifting under the global workforce. Across the world, governments are watching the robotics surge unfold with no real plan to keep pace. There are no federal guidelines for deploying humanoid robots, no mandatory retraining programs for workers, and no tax frameworks that reflect the new economics of 24-7 automation. The legal code still treats robots as machines, not as autonomous agents that can replace a human on the factory line or in the living room. In this vacuum, companies have every incentive to automate as quickly as possible. The open-source release of the GR00T Foundation model and Newton Simulator means that anyone with enough computing power can spin up a robot workforce. No license, no oversight, no permission required. The result is a gold rush, not just for tech giants, but for startups and manufacturers eager to cut costs and boost productivity. Meanwhile, workers face an invisible countdown. 
Every day without regulation is another day the economic advantage tilts further away from human labor. The rules are being written in real time, not by lawmakers, but by the companies racing to automate first. Today, over 40% of global jobs face disruption from AI and automation, according to the World Economic Forum. As algorithms outpace policy, the meaning of work is up for grabs. What we choose next will define not just our economy, but the future of human purpose itself.